This is how I live, I live. This is what I love uh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of Welcome to my life This is what I love This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of Music love life Crystal Jordan, be honest, and myself, Kevin Davis, we are Music Love Life. And welcome to another episode. Let's go ahead and get into it. Kevin, you yeah. back. Kevin. You got damn right I'm back. <laughs> Were you sipping and painting last week? Technically, yes. I told you Technically, he was painting. Yes, I was. You, you know hotels always paint. I right? thought about it. <laughs> I just I did, I did it paint, in the Bahamas though. Did you paint about the black? What were you painting about exactly? It was the black struggle symbolized by sunrise on the horizon? <laughs> the horizon was concave instead of convex. I kind of sort of I was I was painting my future. So yeah, it was it was very bright. I had on shades. Oh my god! Yes, he didn't tell us he went on a vacation. No, he just he just came he, back looking brown. He came back looking brown. Right? Bronze. Did you use a bronzer? Black no. man, we don't use no makeup. You're looking a little bronze, though. Emma? Yeah, you got a little shine to you. No, the Bahamas either you pregnant. The, the sun will do that to you. <laughs> no, but the, the Bahamas sun, sun is that. different, you though. Know. Yeah. The Bahamas sun is different than the regular, than, than our sun. Third world. Third world sun is a <laughs> oh motherfucker. My God. It is. Third world sun is a oh motherfucker. Oh, my God. Before we start. No, we no pause. We got, a, we got a guest with us today. <laughs> Welcome to Odd One. I'm very glad that you did that because I wanted to make a comment about your son comment, but I didn't want to just come out of nowhere. They're like, who the hell is that? <laughs> okay, we have a guest, Todd One, but wait a minute. The sun is the sun. You do realize that, no, right? No, Todd, no. Yeah, come on, man. Yo. The sun is the sun. It ain't no <laughs> different sun no. in the Bahamas, Todd, it's, in I Hawaii, it like in Los Angeles. Sun. No, it, it, The sun you, is the sun. You, get you, you know, Crystal's tan. a flat earther, though. You get, <laughs> yeah. You said you get a better tan. You get a better tan if you, you go to You know why? Because they don't have all of the high buildings. It's just, okay, so, so okay. But it ain't this different sun. It's the sun. Are you, okay, you're, making, you're, you're breaking it down into details, but it's still a different tan. I agree with you, Crystal. Thank it's you. It's definitely, definitely a third world sun. Oh my God. A, and then you go call the Bahamas a third I world country. I didn't say that. Yeah. I did not say that. We have don't you, agree. Have, we don't agree. Have you ever been off the, 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 the beating path, the beating path <laughs> No, the just Bahamas? Paradise Island. Right, so if you go off into the, 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 the woods a little bit, they don't have windows, chickens I went to jumping Ang- in When I went to Anguilla, it was, I was in a very, very uh, untouched area. It was like <laughs> my money. Untouched by money. Untouched by money. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and the white man. Man, certain parts of it still, it was just as many abandoned houses that I've seen in certain parts of Atlanta. Detroit. And be for real. Yes. Oh, Detroit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's one time I went to Jamaica. This is real funny. We went to Kingston. Mm-hmm. We were going to a studio, like a real, you know, popular studio. Right, right. Mm-hmm. right. No lie. <clears throat> we had to get in this little ass plane to go there because I think we was in Montego Bay. We went to Kingston. Right. We're walking down the street. It's goats. Yeah, walking down like yeah. like yeah. like how you would see a stray cat or as yeah. goat. Yeah. Well, I was like, yo, what the hell? It was like it's a goat. My, yeah. I was yeah. like, I know what it is. It was, but what the hell is this? I it heard that like probably that, used to be a man. No, they, it, the voodoo, on, the voodoo man. changed him into okay. that. He always see, be trying I, it though. Yeah, I see what, what it is. But, <laughs> but you should feel a way because he was Haiti. That's not Jamaican. That's why I said we don't agree. You go. They will get on you about that. We don't agree. Same shit. None of them like gay people. I'm on this side of the table, yo. Yo, none of them like gay people. Same people. Uh, They'll drag you in the street and beat you. He's trying to get your show shut down. He is out of control constantly. Be honest. No, (laughs) the beige one is always offensive, (laughs) but they don't bother him. If you had made that comment, (laughs) right, you would have had the SEC, the FEC. I'd be tired of everybody. Yeah, Mm -hmm. no, the show would have been shut down. They'd be like, uh, -uh, this got to stop. This is beige privilege. (laughs) Beige privilege. Wow, it works every time. We got to talk about Todd. Who Todd's background? Todd Todd is. Well, you didn't. They don't know my background. I. Look, <laughs> hold on, hold on. So how, how about I connected the dots? Like I remember watching MT, especially your MTV raps. Right. You know? And I was like, I remember Todd One being on TV and like, yep. yo, dude look cool as shit. Yeah, you know, <laughs> walk having shit. Todd yep. One. Yeah, and so I always go. stayed in my mind, Todd One, Todd One. And then I'm looking like, wait a second. He, I'm him. sitting next to this nigga. He got pretty this nigga. Oh, I thought he went to the whole tap guy. Did you see this nigga? The whole tap guy. He's, he's this a fake whole tap. Over here, he's, right? a he's a fake whole tap. He's a fake whole tap. I don't even know what whole tap is in the first place. But, but I liked that's, it that's though. My, I, when somebody said I'm whole tap, so I'm whole tap. Oh, I'm pro. I'm very pro. He is. He is. He is. He's got his nation of Islam. Well, Gee yeah, we F O I, yeah, but yeah. Um, it's not just that though, because uh, even before that, fruit. coming from New, he's the fruit. The fruit of Islam. <laughs> coming from New York though, 
Before um, the Nation Islam, you know, in New York, it was a big thing with the nations of gods and earth. Yes. You know, like uh, everybody was 5%. We had Raheem Big Daddy Shabazz came. on talking mm-hmm. about that. Mm-hmm. Big Daddy, yeah, Big Daddy came, Rakim, you know, all of that. So th- that's the pro black, you know, like, yeah. and people don't, in this day and age, people don't really like teach their children. I don't get it. They don't teach their children. They're scared to say stuff like, um, you're a god. And I'm like, but it says it in the Bible, like, ye are all gods, children of the most high God. If you want to add that line, add that line. Say this is supreme God, but you're still a God. Mm -hmm. If you teach them to to respect themselves and and be gods and make them walk away from saying, oh, that's my dog, which is God backwards or my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think it's just a different mindset that they'll have from an early age. Why should you have to be 15, 18, 24 before you get knowledge yourself? Teach them young. So that's my pro black. Yeah, we gonna talk offline. That's my whole, <laughs> this my guy he right ain't here. on that level. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, but, but look, Crystal, yeah, exactly. Well, Crystal you'll don't leave know my the brother half. alone. I had to. I had to dumb it down. They don't know the half, yo. <laughs> hey. See, but, but yeah. no. But back Dark to the of United. Back the to Todd One yes. here. Back to Todd One. You got a lot of shout outs, man, throughout the years as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I did a lot of things throughout the years. Yeah, I, I never stopped. You, you know. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> like you know, this thing. Like I talk to people and I tell them some of the things that they'd be like. Mouth hit the floor Like w- One time I was in LA <clears throat> And um, These dudes Hired me To shoot this um, Special With Red Man And Method Man And they went To the Playboy Mansion These guys You know Like Think about that So I did Like I, I knocked it out So the <laughs> president Of Playboy Is like Hey You know I'm in, I mean I'm in the mansion In the grotto Chilling Like he's like Hey I want to talk to you On Monday Make some time so he calls me on Monday, like, look. Tyler, let me, for just one second, I want everybody to hear this story. Move that mic just a little bit that way. Pull it out a little bit. So that's right. Hey, boy. There you go. <laughs> and I don't want to miss this Playboy okay. story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so, um, so he's like, yo, make some time on Monday and I want to talk to you. So they were doing a deal with BET and mm-hmm. they were doing a, a, a pay per view channel, right? He was like, I want you to come in on the, on the Playboy side, make sure these guys is doing all what they're supposed to do. The crazy thing about it is the guy they had running from the BET side tried to hire me. He was like a in the hierarchy, he was higher than me. Right. But I came in, I'm his equal. So he's I'm like, I ain't really feeling those shows that they doing. He's like, well, what are you feeling? What you want to do? So I was like, well, let's do an adult show. Like, you know, a, a hip-hop show for mm. grown-ups. Mm. So I came up with a slogan like... Um, uh, grown men doing a, a grown shit for grown people. You know what I'm saying? So we did like a, a uncut where okay. all of the videos was uh, uncut. Mm-hmm. You know, the the music, the, the the vocals were uncut. You didn't have to edit the words or nothing. And then I was like, okay, here's the kicker. We're doing a Playboy show. Let's get somebody to represent the Playboy brand. I call that lover. Let's get an ill mansion like the Playboy. These are the things you think about with Playboy and let's get some badass chicks. I got all of the baddest porn chicks <laughs> from the time. He was like, yo, you think you could get him? I was like, do I think I could get him? We shot five episodes. <laughs> when I say like, Lily Ty was big at the time. and um, Do you know her, Beyonce? Angel Eyes was big at the time. And um, what was the Spanish chick's name? Um... I, I, got, I can't think of the names I'm waiting but on him too. Look, a few Why is Crystal shows. gawking already <laughs> but, right. but yo We shot We shot five shows And when I tell you We, we always start off the show Everybody's fully clothed okay. By the end of the show Well not everybody But the, the wall of women are naked And they're porn chicks Like they You know they doing this And doing that I promise you One day um, What is her name Kehlani Lay Was an oriental actor She was big right She's beautiful She was late I was like yo Why are you late to the set You know what she said She was like I'm sorry. I s- <laughs> can, I, can, can, yeah. can we be unedited? Yeah. Yeah. She was like, I suck your dick. I was looking like... <laughs> like crackhead. No, like, but I was looking like... <laughs> no, but she was doing it because she made a mistake and she was trying to rectify the mistakes. So I was looking so after, like... after she sucked your dick, what happened? Nah! <laughs> 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 bum, bum, bum. No, but it was, such a, it was such a crazy experience because I'm not... We don't do that on set. You know, I've right. done Access Granite and all that stuff. It's naked girls all the time. I don't never try to mix business and pleasure because right. all you need to make your your world come crumbling down is for one chick to say one bad thing. Right. So I've been around. If there was a music video in Atlanta for the whole time when Atlanta was popping, we shot the behind the scenes of it. Like, we did all of them. So 
I was on all of the sets. I wasn't going to let none of... I mean, they was bad. Like, Masika was on our sets. Masika Kalisha from, mm-hmm. you know, like, all of them chicks that's doing reality TV now, all of them, I saw them all on their come up. Right. They were pretty, but uh-uh. Or if, if, I, if I did engage anything, <laughs> it was way after the show was done, and it was like, yo, this is some consensual stuff. It ain't got nothing to do with this. Right. It right. ain't like, I promised you, you're going to get screen time on right. this. I think that's a sucker. Like, right. we were talking about this earlier. Like, back... I come from the era where you had to have to spit game to get a chick. Right. Right. You right. didn't, I didn't, I don't, I'm not going to pay you to right. Mac you. Or I'm not going to promise you, you know, this or that and a third. Or use your, use your position. Cause I mean, you're with, with you having the position that you did at MTV and even all the other things that you've done. I know it was chicks trying to get, trying to use their sexuality to get in place with you. So how did you, how did you keep from being a part of the Me Too movement? <laughs> no, no, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you guys the truth. So, um, me and my, fr- I, I tell everybody this, all right, so, we was always fly, but Derek Coleman was, um, one of my closest friends and Derek Coleman took us to the, to the next level because he was an uh, NBA player. Ball player, money. So he yeah. had real access to money. Uh-huh. Like, l- you know, Chris he was, Howell, he was a superstar yeah. too. At, at the time. Yeah, he was yeah. the rookie of the year. Yeah, 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 like yeah. he was the yeah. dude. He was he was the LeBron James of that day. Right. right. So I used to always say, to we have this conversation. I'd be like, an average girl. I'm not. That's that's it's not, it's not exciting me. <laughs> I, I promise you, I would look in the magazine right. or I would look on TV, and I'm like, that's who I'm gonna get. And that was that was my that was my. My process. Right. So it's been a lot of... So I did use... <laughs> I didn't use fame. I didn't use my position to to get like a, a chick that's trying to get on. Like, oh, you know, I'll make you famous. Right. I used it to get in contact with this chick who's already famous. Like, hey, what's up? Right. And I was successful. Right. That's, you know? before, that's before Instagram. You just pick up a magazine and be like... Baby, I'm tired. <laughs> one. Yo, no, it, was, it wasn't that. It was hard, though. Because how do you get their Call number? Her, please. But, but <laughs> how do you get their number? See, right now with Instagram, you got access to anybody. Yeah. You can Direct, DM right. them. Yeah. yeah. Think about back in the days. I didn't have that. You had to have co- lyrics. You had to have lyrics. You had to have lyrics and connections. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because like, how I, do you I get just... Jada Pinkett's number? I read your I read your Instagram. Well, Jada Pinkett, <laughs> I actually met her, but the the which I think you're talking about is Tammy <laughs> Tammy on um, Roman yeah. from Housewives. So mm. I was at home and I was watching the Real World and I seen this black chick on TV on MTV. I'm like, who is this? Light eyes, pretty. I, like I said, I felt kind of offended. Like, how dare they have this black chick on the air and don't tell me? Right. So I got on the horn and called my manager. Like, yo, get, get, give me contact with her. Like, I want to meet her. Like, it, it used to be like that. You had to have right. connections. Like, right now, any any idiot with a phone could get in contact with right. anybody. Right. Like, But you just have to... You know, has to have some kind of juice yeah. back then. Back right. then, you know, it has to put some kind of work into yeah. it. Damn it. I, I, as a publicist, I've, I've connected some people because you have your publicist call. There, that's that's what kind of like a pimp. You, not, you know, this is the second time you don't kind of be in that direction. We need like to have another conversation. There's some stuff no, we can't tell not. you guys on air about Crystal, right. but Crystal has definitely couple. got her. No. She got pimp juice. Mm. There is yeah, a couple that she I did was, that look. Look, at my look, she did the look. No, no, no. Yeah. But but that is what people would do. That though, like the publicists would hook, uh, would get quote with unquote them. people. <laughs> people. Well, that is true. Oh, yeah. I use my manager. Okay. I use my manager. I didn't use the publicist, but what, you get the job done or whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. But Jada, I actually met Jada in person, mm-hmm. and um, like you know, I was like, wow, like Jada, but she was gorgeous. You know what I mean? Um, but. Um, one time I was telling this story too and a lot of people was like, yo, this is crazy. But I was in Ixtapa, Mexico and um, like I said, I was the actual VJ for the channel. So I would do my show, I would produce the two Yo shows and then I would do like their Awaken the Wild Side or I would go do all of their, like, you know, they send people out to an opening of a park or right. make appearances. So I was in Ixtapa, Mexico. I was bored as hell. I was minding my business. And these three chicks was over there, and I looked up, and it was Jack A from what she was a two two seven, and Anne Marie Hosford from oh, Amen, yeah. Yeah. and it was another one. I forgot what show she was on, but they were sitting. There. It was like, yo, come here, like come over here, and they was like, yo, what's wrong with you? Like, why you look so sad? <laughs> like this was, and they were older than me. I was young. They were older than me, and um, they was like showing real concern. So they was like, yo, what are you doing tonight? So it was an event that night. So I'm like, I gotta go to cover this event. And they was like, hey, listen. 
you know, let us hook you up on a date. We got a date for you. We're going to hook you up. Be down here at 7, whatever, 7 o'clock sharp or whatever, you know, da da da. I'm like, all right. I show up at 7 o'clock. Karen Parsons walks up to me. She was like, are you wow. Todd? And I'm like, hell yeah, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got that right. She's like, well, I guess I'm your date for the night. You know, they put me together. They thought this would be a good idea, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it is. <laughs> you know, because she was Hillary. Do y'all right. know yeah. how bad yeah. Hillary yeah. Banks, yeah. Banks was? Yo. I had no idea that that's who they was hooking me up with. Right. So I was telling the story. I'm like, so, you know, we... When we was at the event, I'm waiting for this shit to be over fast. <laughs> so after the event, we go, we have drinks and stuff or whatever. And then we go, I walk in her room. And I remember, like, I walked in her room and I'm thinking some goofy shit like, ah, let me be a gentleman and see her to her door and, you know, take off. I did that. Got to the elevator. I'm like, oh, he- are you bu- that guy's Hillary. Right. Went back, bang, 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 knocked on the door. When I knocked on the door, and from the time it took me to leave... Think about it. Go to the elevator. Come back. She was brushing her teeth. So she opened the door. She brushed her teeth. She was like, what, like, what happened? What you forgot? And I was like, Shh, I forgot my goodnight kiss. And then she was looking and she was like, but my mouth, I'm, I want to taste like toothpaste. Shh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Dirty I, mouth? I, I, right. well, I closed the door. I ended the story. But those are the kind of things that, you know, right. like instances of fun that we had. But I'm like, people are missing all that now because... They don't, it ain't even no. There's no human part to no. it. Yeah, it's yeah. no. Yeah, it's no. You it's can't, too easy. You can't give us a story today. No, everything's on Instagram, and you're just automatically there. Well, everything is the which, the bracelet. The, <laughs> well, but you know what? The kind the type of conversation you have to have has changed too. Like you can't do. There is the, no conversation. You do, no, you can't do small talk at all. I don't think people actually From go on jump, dates. I don't. I don't even be, think people go on dates. Like that was like they hooked you up on a a, a date. date. Yeah, I like that. Like that's a woman's thought. See, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like who goes on? Kids just hook up. Like exactly, they just. I see you. You're cool. I think you're cool. We just hook up. Like it's not. You probably were trying to. Okay, what am I gonna do to impress her? Like I'm gonna that. show her too. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's not get crazy now. I, I didn't do that. But, but we, you just said like taking her to walking her to the door. Yeah, like, I don't be even a think, gentleman. But that yeah. was out of character though, because I, you know, <laughs> well, and I caught myself true. before I left because I would have been mad as hell if I had got on that plane and come back and be like you at least try. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. What, uh, uh, the one phrase I love for today is shoot your shoot shot. Your shot. Shoot your shot. We tell, we tell shoot Kevin that off. Shoot your shot because you will regret it if you don't. <laughs> shoot your shot. Well, okay. I, I want to ask you because we know that, as we say, celebrity has changed. Everything yep. is so much. Back back in the day when I first started doing this, and obviously when you were, you're actually a part of hip hop history because the, the shows that you created were a part of like how we saw. We didn't, you couldn't see your favorite stars unless you looked at MTV. Or you saw a magazine We had no access So Seeing how Did you get that quote from me? No But you know Great I had an interview And uh, we had this conversation And I was explaining to them Like He was like How can you um, Explain the importance And the relevance Of Yo MTV Raps And I was like Yo MTV Raps Was The CNN Of hip hop It was The Social media, it was the everything. way that you found yeah. out. It was everything. Because yeah. outside of Yo MTV Raps, everything was localized. Yeah. So it would be a show, but it'd be local. It'd be nah, radio, we but didn't. it's local. Like, we didn't get it. Music Box, we didn't have none of that in Atlanta. Right, but none I'm saying, stuff. even if you did, it would have just been Atlanta. Right. right. But right. Yo MTV Raps, I started finding out how people were living in Los Angeles and Compton right. and Houston and Miami and like it connected the dots mm-hmm. that we're different. Mm-hmm. I thought, you know, being in New York, being from New York, we had a, a, a false arrogance because for one, I promise you, I thought mm-hmm. everybody was like us. Mm-hmm. I thought every place was like us until I physically started traveling with the show right. and I went to St. Louis. I'm like, oh, these motherfuckers are different. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I right. went to Compton one time with a New York attitude. This is before I did, like, it wasn't prevalent where you knew about how dangerous it was with the gangs, right? right. So, well, I used to go to um, L.A. all of the time and we would rent these cars. Uh, so, I rented this, um, on this occasion, I rented this bright red 5.0, drop top. Okay. I met this girl at... Um, Easy E's Wild and Wet Pool Party. She's mm-hmm. from Compton. Now, I don't know what Compton is. Like, LA, LA, we thought was just all gravy. You know what I'm saying? 
So she was supposed to come to the hotel to see me. Her ride didn't, couldn't show up. Or what is, you see Uber and none of that stuff was around. Her <laughs> ride couldn't show up. So I'm like, fuck it, you know, where you at? I'll come to you. In a bright red. Listen, <laughs> I didn't even know. I, it gets hey, worse. Yo. It gets worse. I promise you. She gives me the uh, the directions of how to get there. I'm flying. I'm speeding. I'm blasting music. <laughs> I got the top down, and I'm from New York. And I'm just like, you know, when you ride through Hollywood, yeah. you want to be seen. Like, I'm <laughs> right. chilling. I didn't know the danger. Surprisingly, I made it to her house. I get there. She got family and friends. Everybody's there. You see these neighborhood dudes. They come up. And a couple of them, I was on TV at the time, so a mm-hmm. couple of them was like, oh, yeah, that's hard one. You can hear, you hear them mm-hmm. whispering, Rumbling. talking, and right. yeah, you hear them, right? right? So then, obviously, the conversation starts going to hip-hop. Everybody is cool. You know how you feel the energy? The mm-hmm. love is there. Mm-hmm. There's one dude. I always I always survey the whole environment. Right. I don't just, I don't be just, oh, these three are smiling, and everything's good. I'm looking at everybody, like, right. what's, what's up? This one dude was over there, and I noticed that every time they were showing me love, he was hating so then we started talking. He was like, so finally he just like, he couldn't take it no more. He was like, yo, man, what's up with all these rappers thinking they the shit? Like Big Daddy Kane and everybody thinking they the best, man. Fuck them. Me? I was like, who you, who you got? Who you got that can fuck with him? Like, blah, blah. So I start spazzing on dude. Right. His boys is dying laughing at him. Like, yo, you let him chump you, this, that, and the third. I was off point <laughs> to a point until that motherfucker said, all right, I'll be back. Something about the way he said that. The spidey sense kicked in. I'm like, whoa, I don't like that. I'm looking. I ain't even like, I ain't even try to be cool about it. I'm like, all right, time for me to go. Right. Kiss the kids, kiss everybody. I'm out. Phew, right. Gone. She didn't tell me to later on. And the way she said it was so uh, matter of fact, like, oh, they just be tripping. They think they're so big and bad because they in a gang. What? <laughs> oh, and you know that. That car, the color that you had is the wrong color for where we were at. Right. I, I did. I went, the first time I went to LA, I got a damn 5.0 red dropped. I think that the rental company knows that shit. <laughs> I think they do that on purpose. But you see, I, you know, the, the only way I got out of it, man, because I had a homeboy that stayed in on uh, near Crenshaw, and um, he asked me where I was from. They asked me. They asked us where we were from, and because we were from Atlanta, they gave us a pass. But they stopped us and they asked us, and it wasn't pleasant. <laughs> One time I was That's driving crazy. with Ed, Ed Lover, uh-huh. and he had an. Atlanta. He had on a, a, a Red Hawks um, sweatshirt and a Red Hawks hat, and we flying, driving. Hand to God, the car pull us over. Like, yo, yo, I know who you are. I know what you do. You can't wear that here. You got to take that off. Ed took it off <laughs> right there in the car. Yeah. T-shirt Ed at that moment. Like, <laughs> wow. like brothers, and we peeled <laughs> off. But, like, we didn't know. You don't know. So yeah. what Yo! MTV Raps did was it started... Um, Giving you different outlooks and experiences, mm-hmm. you could because you watching it, you like, damn! Like we went to Houston and we went to Fifth Ward, and I didn't know the danger until later on. It was like, yeah, do you know where you was at? Right? Yeah, because y'all would just be so like, it seemed like y'all was just in the middle, like guerrilla war, like just chilling. Well, we didn't know like, no better. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. I thought listen, y'all must have had just like attention. I came to your house today. As soon as you said red high top, or excuse me, red drop top, I was like. Red, LA. <laughs> this is even, but uh, now you know better. This is when right, you don't even know. Right. But like I'm saying, think about this. Just like you said, can you come and do this? Mm-hmm. I didn't know why I was coming. I just came. That's how it would be. Like they'd be like, right. yo, we want you to come here. Oh, wow. And they always say, you'd be str- When we went to Houston, this was crazy. <laughs> so Jay Prince wasn't with us, but he had a, um, his right hand band was this dude named Big Chief. So he's like, yo, I got you. We're going to go out tonight. We're going to have a good time. Blah, 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 blah. He picked me up. He had a, like a Gold bins, right? I get in the front seat of the car, hand of God. He's like, oh, just move that. Move it out the way. Well, I got a, a sword off <laughs> shotgun in the front seat. I'm looking like, do I really want to get in like, the where, car? Where are we going again? Right. Do I really want to get, do I really want to, like, do, do we really want to hang out with this tonight? Right. You know, so. For, as, a, as a point of reference, though, for a lot of listeners who, who don't re- know this time period, if I'm not mistaken, at the time, the only other black music that was an, on a national level... Don't say Rap City. W- no, Video Soul on BET. Am I correct? Or was well, that after? Say, no, Video Soul was after. Well, it might have... Because Yo had a long run. But the only... Okay, so in the beginning... Like you mentioned, Video Music Box. Right. So me being from New York, I knew about Video Music Box. Mm-hmm. But being in Brooklyn, I didn't have cable. 
We didn't have cable. Cable yeah. was brand new. Like, yeah. you had to be in the real Sadidi areas to have cable TV. Right. So, Yo MTV Raps, I didn't know about Yo MTV Raps till I went to the building to get the internship. Like, so... I was always like a, a popular dude. I was always like clowning around or whatever. I'm in college one day um, in my television production class. And this dude comes in. He got a suit on and everything. As soon as I see that, boom, I focused in like, yo, what the hell? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Right. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, yo, I got an in- interview. I said, well, who? He said, MTV. I'm like, MTV? What the hell is that? He was like, yo, it's a video channel. I'm interviewing your MTV raps. We're in class. I'm like, what? I said, yo, is there a number? He gives me the number. I pick up the studio production phone. In cl- we ain't supposed to touch that phone. <laughs> right. I called. The lady answers the phone. And I'm like, hey, you know, I want to do an internship, you know, blah, blah, blah. She was like, oh, you know, like, you're kind of late. Like, we don't have, we definitely don't have anything left for your MTV Raps, but let me see what I could do. Um, come in on Monday at 9 o'clock, right? That, just cold call. I go on Monday, 9 o'clock. She likes me. And she, um puts me on a show called Pirate TV. I start my internship. On the first day, Ted Demi was the creator of the show. I'm walking, you know, through the building or whatever. He spots me, and he looks at me. He's like, hey, what are you doing here? Like, what, what are you working on? So I was like, oh, I'm new. I work on Pirate TV. The next day, <laughs> he jacked me from the dude from Pirate TV, had me do Yo! MTV raps, and the idiot that gave me the number has never been heard from again. <laughs> oh, wow. I was so bad. Yo, because wow. he was... Okay, <laughs> listen. No, no, you got to understand this. Uh, this. This is how real it was. And I used to have to have this conversation. I was Todd one before I went to MTV. They didn't right. make me. I wasn't a created character. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So when I went in there, I had the same energy, the same, you know, whatever. And MTV was 97% white. So to see that, it was attractive. They're like, yo, he didn't have that. He was like, when I say he was a super, super he was somebody that you would just walk by. Right. He was right. a nice guy. Right. But I'm saying he wasn't hip hop. Right. And the 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 um, Ted was hip hop, right? And he was like, "Yo, I finally I found the muse. Like, I found somebody that could, you know." And I didn't notice at the time, but he had always been looking for somebody to come in and take the show to the next level because, you know, he was the type of person, like, I created it, but I took it as far as I could take it. Like, right. you know, yeah. I'm not the culture. Like, now, white, white people think they're the culture. Right, they, right. they think that I could, I could dictate what goes on and what doesn't, but back then, it was so new. Like, you had to, you know, the authentic, authenticity meter is so high. Like, the bullshit, mm-hmm. if you ain't, well, back then, if you wasn't real, like, right. if you wasn't, about it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get out of here. Right. Like it was the Sandman at the Apollo. <laughs> right. So people knew their lane. You know, it was very hard for Beastie Boys to get accepted. It was very hard for third base to get accepted. Right. They had to they had to really show, like, yo, I'm not a gimmick. Like, I'm really with the shits. And then when they people found it, they was like, yo, mm-hmm. they cool or whatever. You know right. what I'm saying? Perfect example of that is Marky Mark had to start acting. Because they realized he wasn't right mm. yeah, and, as a and, rapper. And, and it doesn't matter how much money you put right, behind right, him. It doesn't, right. Like yeah. I'm saying, that's the one thing that they had to figure out. Like, mm-hmm. this isn't something that you could just put your finger... Well, now you can. Yeah. So, I was gonna say, so how, do you, how do you feel about how different things are now? Because those interviews that you guys did... Like you're saying, it, it it introduced us to TLC, to 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 Red Man, Method Man. That was our introduction, and that's all we knew. So when I'm media training people, I'm like, you don't know anything about these people besides what you saw them say in an interview. So now you got social media, you got celeb people that are trying to people that are celebrities for doing nothing, like wearing, just, a, dress, wearing a dress. Yeah, being popular. What'd you say? <laughs> wearing a dress <laughs> or, or, not, or not? Or not? Right? Or not? Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about that as one of the gatekeepers of 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 this of hip hop, like how easy it is now for people to come in and just. Well, you know, I, I think my view is different um, from a lot of people. But okay, so I was always um, they used to be like the youngest in charge. Special Ed had an album out called "Youngest in Charge," mm-hmm. and they used to always say that about me. So I was like really the baby of the bunch. I was twenty, and everybody, all my peers was twenty seven and up. Mm-hmm. Everybody that I worked with Ed, Dre, Fab, Ted, all of them was twenty seven. So, I, so I really had the, the the young mind or whatever. But I always tell people now, 
don't be that old motherfucker that seemed bitter. Yeah. You know, like, oh, well, back of my day, don't be the back of my day, dude. Like, yeah. if you're going to say it, like, have some substance behind it. But I don't hate on anything new. I might not like it. It might not be my cup of tea. Right. But I don't knock it. Because I'm like, yo, just like when, when hip hop first came out, they didn't understand it. And they was like trying to right. shut us down. And right. it was very hard. It was very hard to book shows. It was very hard to get on the radio. It was very mm-hmm. hard to get promotion. Right. Yo MTV Raps broke open that door. And the only reason why they did is because they gave us, you know, MTV used to do the, the, the funny stuff. This is a 24 hour channel. Even like with my show, I did their first R and B show. Even my channel, it's like, yo, we want to try this. We want to try something new. You know, we want to do an R and B show. I'm like, you know, we gonna put it on Sunday morning at ten in the morning. <laughs> Who the hell is Who's up? Away? Sunday morning at <laughs> ten in the morning. They at church. They at church. Right. They have black folks are at church. I took it. You know what happened? It became the number one rated show on the channel. You know what they did? Oh. We expanded it to two hours. We want to give you a contract. We want you to be a VJ. We want you to do our morning show. We want you to do our hangover. You know what I'm saying? Because they seem to, to like, right. I'm, I always feel like if you expose people to some dope shit, here's the phrase. So, I, you know, people say, if you build it, they'll come. Yeah. Bullshit. If you build it and it's dope, they'll come and stay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you can build something, they'll come, they'll look at it, like, that's some bullshit, they leave. <laughs> what good is that? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they left. Right. What was, you built something for them to just come and leave? I want them to stay. Right. You know, so I look at um, the people today, you know, that get famous for doing nothing, they ain't going to stay. They ain't going to last. Right. Because it's going to be somebody else or something else that's going to replace that because that is no substance there. But the people that actually build a foundation, I applaud it. You know what I mean? Even if it's not my... Your thing. It's not my thing. I don't. Right. I, I don't like when people. I, I look at them as like, don't be the bitter. I look at it like you're mm-hmm. bitter, yo. Yeah. Or you know, you had your shot. All right. You can't be bitter because when you was the man, you made five million a year. But the guy who does the same thing that you did, he makes fifty million a year. It wasn't your time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that five million when you made it, you was the man. Like right. at that time, it's like, yo, it, it's inconceivable. He's making five million a year. Right. You know? So man, Times let these different. people rock, yo, and just show them something better or show them show them a different way. Like we we were saying before off camera, mm-hmm. content is always gonna be key. Mm-hmm. So the the content creators is always gonna be good. Absolutely. Yeah. Matter of fact, like, well, let me ask you this, because in terms of celebrity, uh, because like Kanye was at TMZ mm-hmm. l- last week, right? Yeah. And he said uh, a lot and actually I felt kind of bad because and well, I'll ask how you feel, but he he said a lot of things and now that I'm starting to see more of the other videos where that they didn't show the, yeah like the full conversation that totally changed my perception whereas when when uh, MTV Raps was on it was that was the only outlet and it was a lot more controlled whereas with TMZ they just gave you the snippets and everybody reacted to that so do you, you kind of see where I'm going with it in terms of well, it's, I think it's always because that changes people's perception. Well, I think it's always I think it's always been that way, but it's so much that's out there now that people are starting to um, understand it. But it's think about it; it's called program for a reason. Mm-hmm. They put the stuff out to program you, and they want a certain response from you. Right. And I learned just from being a producer that <clears throat> there's the raw footage. And there's the edited footage. And you edit footage to drive home a story. So now I look at it like, if that's what they showed us based on all of the things that they had, what the hell was their motive? You know what I'm saying? I don't just, I don't react off of, I'm not the person just jumping like, oh, Kanye's an ass. Kanye always been an ass. But right. this, but he's this never been not, an idiot though, and that's what bothers right. me. He's never been an idiot. Kanye he, is bipolar. Oh, I don't want to say bipolar, but Kanye is a dual Kanye personality. Sometimes <laughs> right. he speaks, and you're like, God, that's Socrates. Yeah, right. and sometimes he speaks. You're like, Come what on, in shut the, the hell are you talking <laughs> yeah, about? Right, what right. are you on? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, and that we got both of that, but I, we got both of that from that interview. And I, I, I agree with you though. I think because when you when you're working with celebrities, you have to know it's not necessary. Yes. Producers are savvy at being able to pull sound bites that create a story. But talent has to know, because Kanye is seasoned enough to know that 
when you do something like that, they're, they they have full reign to pull exactly what they want. And that's what you prep people with. When you get ready to go do an interview, you know you got you have to speak carefully because you give them 30 minutes, they can choose whatever clips out of that they want. So that's kind of on. It's still, it's not, to me, I don't feel like, oh, they're trying to program you. Yeah, but you got, that, that person has that responsibility when they go do an interview. Every, every person I've ever worked with, you prep them for an interview and you know, you say this, is, it can be taken out of context. Understand they may not hear the rest of that conversation. So when you say something like, I don't even want to go into the comments that he said because I'm just so tired of hearing him. <laughs> but some of the things that he said, he had to. He's he's a he's he's smart. He knows that they're going to be. It's going to be. It's sound. It's sound bites, and those sound bites are going to get views, which is going to get people hype, which mm-hmm. draw emotion, which producers are great at being able to pull out. It's all a. It's it's all a dance, and everybody's a part of it. I almost feel as though he got set up because, it, and the reason I'm saying that is because. He is a he is a, an artist, right? How many artists have gone to TMZ to promote their music? TMZ invites almost every artist to he's go. He's not an artist. Honestly, I think he's an artist. He's an artist but he, no, no, I, but, he's but way bigger than an artist. TMZ offer, they constantly offer. Mm-hmm. Most artists won't go. Because you know that TMZ is going to do some. They're they're just they're disrespectful. They they you know you have some. Because honestly, that go I was on there. blaming Chris Jenner for the whole thing. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I was. I was like that. Okay, Kardashian set him up to go to TMZ. No, and TMZ. Do that. She did go the on the interview was totally different. But it was. To, it, but 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 that goes to my point. The Charlemagne interview was totally different because Charlemagne wanted to humanize him. Right. That's his my intent point. Was his intent wasn't to <clears throat> vilify him. I think he his was in- trying. Charlemagne was trying as hard <clears throat> as he could. It seemed like I felt like even when he explained the interview, when he still was like, you know, couldn't have his back. But I feel like Charlemagne wanted to do, wanted to get a conversation with him that would relate to people that he's fans. Charlemagne to, wasn't yeah. trying to do him yeah. dirty. Yeah, Charlemagne he wasn't. wanted to give him a platform where he could, <clears throat> you know, uh, speak his piece. Right. Whatever that piece was. And you, but you could you could see the difference in the energy. Yeah, and that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. um, and Charlemagne's one of the best to me. Yeah. Like Charlemagne, I don't know how he did it, but he's one of the few on air personalities of today that can stand his ground, speak his piece, and he don't lose support from the people that's backing him. Because you know, yeah, the 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 the, <laughs> the, the, the the corporations, it's only about three or four now that control mm-hmm. all radio. Mm-hmm. They get very uncomfortable when you start speaking about some of the things that Charlemagne speaks about, but he gets to do it. He does. He, but it would, it would only be one. Like, you could only have one like that. Well, I think it, I think it's only one that has enough testosterone to try it. <laughs> because, right. it's, look, it's the thing, like we always used to say before, <laughs> as long as you shucking and jiving and cooning mm-hmm. and you dancing with them, they love you. Pick up a book. The first thing they're going to do is, oh, what's that you're reading? <laughs> this is real. Yeah. People don't pay attention. Right. But the whole energy changes. Like, this motherfucker got a book? What do you, what kind of book is that? Right. Let it be some <laughs> hotep shit. Or let it be message to the black man. Or let it be something like, uh-oh. They'll start, right. it's like, uh-oh. Well, how's this dialogue changing? Mm-hmm. Or how's, then they start changing like, well, if, I, if I've done anything that offends you, if I've said, no, you ain't offend me. I'm just. Learning right. about myself. Like, why is it offensive yeah. to you that I'm... So I think, like, all of these people, majority of the people mm-hmm. that are on their personalities... Now, I'm not talking about actors. Right. I'm talking about people like a Charlemagne. Oh. No, I'm talking about, like, I'm talking about on their personalities right. that mm-hmm. they on the mic. Right. Mm-hmm. Right? They just so happy to get a check and to get views and to be in a position to do this. They don't want to push the envelope. Right. right. They're going to pander to whoever so it is. I don't, right. I don't know what what happened with Charlemagne. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he got woke one day or something mm-hmm. happened. I don't know how he put himself in a position to be able to do it because like I said, that's a death sentence. They'll shut you down quick. They'll right. replace you. they get you out of there. Yeah. They'll do whatever they got to do. Charlemagne has had Minister Farrakhan on his show. Like, mm-hmm. Do y'all know when Arsenio Hall had Minister Farrakhan on his show? That was, was the last rap. fucking was show he did. Yeah. Yeah. Was yeah. Yep. yeah. They ain't playing that game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He had a two-parter, too. It was a long, the longest right. interview I've ever seen. And it was the end. It was the end. And they still support him. Yeah. yeah. 
Like you know, he's talking about Charlamagne. Charlamagne, mm-hmm. yeah, the yeah. It was a yeah. two-part yeah. interview. Still, it was so long, and he's still, like he's very open with his support. And they let him yeah. talk. They weren't and they Ferris weren't guiding his words. Went off, though. Yeah, they let him talk. He went off for him. He started. <laughs> well, I do want to say to the listeners who are, are listening now watching that when Todd said Hotep shit, he did point towards. <laughs> Kevin. I don't. Wait, I got that from you <laughs> because that was my first. <laughs> right, that was my first introduction to him, and right. I thought it was very funny. <laughs> he was like, what, "What was the phrase that you said?" He was like, "Oh, you were." Hotep. What did he say? No, no, before he said that, but he said that was my first person. I'm looking like, oh, he's one of them. <laughs> yeah. But you cool as hell, man. Yeah, you, I, I, I for the people that. that are you the coolest Hotep I've watching, ever met. <laughs> for the people that are listening and not watching, we done fist pumped about seven times. <laughs> on the interview. He's not Fotep to me. He's, and then, he's, he's about it. And then it's like the weakest insult ever because Hotep means peace. It so does. it's like Who cares though Nobody it, knows that All we know like, is like, hey, hey, The peaceful does. guy <laughs> The non-violent guy Ha ha But that's so it's, it's almost contradictory though Because it the, I guess The peaceful you, Name I mean, does not I, go I along With the very very Militant Attitude you Oh you're militant? militant No he's not oh. but, but he but He's he, fake militant He's fake militant <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Fotep militant He's fake oh, militant God. You gotta be militant In this day and age though You gotta Alright not to go there because I don't want to get your shut down. No, but I, don't, I, but, I don't care. But I do want to let people understand. Like I train martial arts, mm-hmm. and um, I meet a lot of people, and I'm telling you right now, these people out there, tra- not not these people, those people out there training. Yeah, they training to fight. They training in MMA. They training to shoot. They training to survive, and they training to kill. And these people, are, us, are sitting back and not doing nothing. I'm like, oh well. If anything pops off per se, <laughs> right? What the say. hell do you? How are you going to defend yourself and your family? You look at your gut. Look at your like. Can you fight? You eating chicken? You, yo, <laughs> what? What? What if all electricity went out for a week? Ninety percent of people is done. Yeah. Do you have water? Do you have a generator? Yeah. Do you have survival kit? Do you right. have like these people are teaching their kids this? At seven, yeah, a surf- they like mm-hmm. they teach them how to take apart and put how together to a gun at right. seven. Like if if, if 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 anything ever happens, this is what we're gonna do. The kids know if you can't get in contact with me, we mm-hmm. have a meeting point. We don't have no we meeting have point. point. <laughs> we do not have. If a meeting you point. wasn't <laughs> home when the lights went out, how you? Uh, w- does your family know where to meet you at? Oh, they tell you we better get home. The liquor store. We don't have a meeting point. <laughs> you know? We do not have a meeting point. In but that's fact, real. Killer Instagram Mike talks off, about that. Killer Mike is dope. Yeah. And you know who else is dope? What's David Banner? David Banner. Yeah. yeah. Killer Mike and David Banner are dope. Yeah. And and we need more of that. You know who is the new? I don't want to say the new, but you know who's walking that lane right now? My son. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. He's dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. And the. the w- how can I say this? We need a balance because everybody you look at um, six nine, mm-hmm. and you look at his Instagram um, followers. He's yeah. like four point five million. Yeah, and you look at my son who can really rap, right? And he's rapping about real stuff. He's like got a hundred thousand. That's yeah. it's no balance. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's the, mm-hmm. that's the only issue with the muse, with in my opinion, because we do have the we we. At one point, there was a little bit of everything. So, yes. you know, you had, you know, you had uh, Kumo D, you had Paris, you had, yeah, you had you had KRS One, but then you also had, you know, Fresh Prince, yeah, you had a lot of different things. So that there was a little because I could be in the mood to hear, you know, KRS One one day, and then the next day I may just want to have some fun and put on DJ Quick, and then I may want to do this and do that. But now it's like, and I think the Migos are dope as hell, but. Well, okay, so you, you you bring up a good point, and this is just on the heels of Childish Gambino coming out with his video and and song um, about America. Right, right, America. This is, is America. This is America. Yeah. Don't. Pow! Don't forget that. This is America. <laughs> Pow! <laughs> so, how we, did you guys interpret the video though? Because I think I, everybody was was loving it on social media. He was he hosted Saturday Night Live. Shouts! Out. First of all, he's definitely changing. He's impacting culture in a huge way. Um, with the show Atlanta And then even He actually was the one That shouted out When he got his Golden Globe He shouted out the Migos Yeah And turned turn their, their, their Turned their world around, around and, right. and, and, Really? 
Yeah, yeah. He, and you he, know what? Matter of fact, let me say this because he really supports Atlanta. He does. He big ups everybody Atlanta. He did a he TLC thing. It, yeah, he did on he the did, show. He did. Shouts out to my girls. Yeah, but he did. Um, when he accepted the Golden Globe, he won a Golden Globe for Atlanta. He got up in the and one of the things he said is, "I want to thank the Migos for making Bad and Bougie," and they were out of there. Yeah, seconds later, totally like changed. Totally Second. changed. Yeah. yeah. Who are these Migos you speak of? <laughs> right, right. Three Migos. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know not. what's crazy? Me before we even get into it, and I'm sure that our resident hotel will have some words <laughs> about this. Our resident hotel. How I need a name tag? <laughs> how in the hell do we go from all the things that we you just said about Childish Gambino, right, to people on social media talking about his white girlfriend? It's, that's ridiculous to me that he, ridiculous. he can't do this He can't do this song We don't want this from him That's crazy That's crazy You have nothing to say about this at all? Speak my brother? Up. What? Speak up, Kevin. He said my okay. brother <laughs> why, why are y'all Speak going up, so Kevin. hard On Childish For having a white girlfriend? Well, Donald Glover I, a, lot of, a lot of black people have white So you're not You don't have a problem others. with it I don't, I don't care who they The whole tip flag is So bad. the whole tip no. <laughs> So y'all just kidding me. They laugh out loud, but they kill me with that hotel flag. I lay with mine, but they have theirs, and that's cool. Yeah, that's that. To me, that sucks because you you can't even open your mouth if you have an opinion and you don't have everything according to the way black people want you to have it. I think that's ridiculous. And they be lying. They be having stuff sideways. I don't know. I don't know that these are all all black people either. This this is, doing what? Yeah, man. Who because, are they? Matter of fact, because there's a lot of of profiles that are on social media that it's are conspiracy of the white people. It's the egg. making it's like they're black not, people. Well, non-black <laughs> people. Stop the madness. These are, are black people. Out. Stop the madness. Kevin, these yes. are black people. Yes, Stop it that. is. Kevin, no, can it you is. How do you know that it's black people? Kevin, everybody from from because <laughs> black Twitter. There's so many. There's, there's celebrities too. Black, black Twitter's a thing. But black people have always responded negatively when people when when people have non. African American significant others. That's been a big thing with other black celebrities that have come out and 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 you know said. I don't know that. Unfit. Do you have this a personal is the problem? You, though? <laughs> I don't this know is that. The problem. What? Like, you're gonna have you. You can't only acknowledge what we do when it's in a positive way. Like that's you. You got to acknowledge all of it. So yes, there are other. African Americans that are upset because he has a non African American girlfriend. Does, they've done the same thing with with Tank with um, somebody else. So is it is it Tank? Yeah, he has, is it, he has a is white it girl. He black has, women that are upset that oh, Donald Glover. Oh wait, a I'm minute. asking. The black I'm women asking. was threatening to um, shut down the Black Panther because what's my man Michael Jordan had a white girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. And that was a big yeah, thing, and that wasn't but. As far like, as I what? knew, that wasn't true. But Ke- he on is- my timeline, people were like, "How are we mad?" Because I don't know nobody the that's hotel mad. Timeline. <laughs> yeah, they were. Don't tell Twitter. Like, a lot of them. A lot like, of them. They all talk to me. <laughs> right. yeah. A lot of a lot of a lot of black women were upset about that. Like it was a whole thing. How could he be? How can he be the? How can he? Because they took his character as him, which was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And it's like, how can he represent this if he has a white girlfriend? Well, so I'm just saying. To, to I didn't know. I didn't know that black women gave a damn about Donald Glover. Yeah, they do. Yes, we they do. do. Only when I didn't. They do only he when wasn't, something like this. He isn't happens. a heartthrob. He's I not like the sexiest you. guy. <laughs> no, 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 he's not. But you know what it is. But you know what it is is that people are listening to him. So. Black women, I'm talking to you guys now. If you if you're watching I got or listening, y'all. hold on, ladies, I got you. You know, I'm I want you good. guys. Come I want you guys it. to understand that the <laughs> amount of okay. So some of our artists that we have out here, they do make microwave music, art, etc. But there are a few people who are really putting their time into their art and their craft. And if you want them to continue putting out that type of material, you're going to have to allow them to be themselves, regardless. And you I can't agree with you that. can't yeah. shoot them down because they may have a different ideology on relationships than you do. And it, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't discredit you. In fact, it makes you look weaker and and more upset. And he probably has a less chance of dating a black girl next if this kind of thing happens. When he puts out something that's supposed well, okay. to be, I like Beyonce. It's supposed had a real, to be Beyonce had a real sensitive answer. It's supposed to be Ooh. helping our culture, and now you're showing him why he shouldn't give a <laughs> fuck about our culture. I agree. I like that. Yeah, I don't give a damn if if the woman he's with is is white or not, um, or even Kanye, for example. But the the quality or the substance in that woman should be supporting the man that's on stage. That's another fist punt. But wait a minute. Now you know what was you know you about to be start. We got to call y'all the whole tip side. I'm getting ready. You know what was foul? Based, let me follow follow what he just said. (laughs) All right, I saw this um, post on Instagram. And um, Snoop And I'm like damn mm, Like I saw it I'm like Yo they going in mm. He said Kanye West 
He said Jay-Z was going up the same path, and he married Beyonce. And Kanye West married Kim Kardashian. If that doesn't show you the power of a strong woman and picking the right woman, I don't know what else does. I'm mm-hmm. like, damn, that's so... Yeah. That's, that's such a... <laughs> but that's not even a bomb drop. That's like... You can't get more personal. You talking about my wife and my decision on who I'm with. Like, I'm like, I can't be... How do you be cool with somebody after they... Even if yeah. he didn't author it, yeah. he shared it. He did. I'm like, yo, that's... And it was a popular meme. I mean, but you know what? I, I and That's why I want to I ask about the... Speak to the... Because the, the, we've talked about mental illness a lot. And I, I think that fame creates a lot of times a, 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 a paranoia or... A narcissistic behavior Or maybe it brings it out more But when you When you look at Beyonce and Jay-Z And the things that they've done together As a couple And then you look at the things That Kanye and Kim They're, they're about as a couple it, I think the Bible says Two can't be together Unless they're agreed Two can't walk yoked. together Unless they're agreed yeah. yeah and of course You have to be equally yoked But to me it's like You see a, you see them grow further In who they are You see Beyonce and Jay-Z Are very very um, outspoken about things that happen with the culture, and they're very clear about that. Mm-hmm. Kanye, one of the thing, one of the clips that Kanye did that I thought was very telling, and I'm I'm not saying this in a negative way, but I think this is very telling about how he sees manhood, and I think that's important to our culture is because we have to we have to start promoting a positive view of manhood. But he was he was talking, and, and I, I I believe it was actually it was with Charlemagne, and he said, you know, it bothered him, you know, when his wife was robbed in Paris, but he was like, I wanted to go to protect my wife, and he was like, not to protect her physically, but I wanted to lay eyes on the clothes that she had to make sure she was killing it. In what? Paris, yes, he Who's, he says this. That's what yeah, he said. No, that's no. not what he said. No, that is what yeah, he said. Thank you. That no, no, what he oh, said. I, I couldn't. I, that that makes me more mad than anything you, else he said. You, you move things around in order. That's no, not I didn't. No, I didn't. Put, put that. We'll put that the link. I can't I, think what, you what, say that. That's bad. I listened to it. No, no, Crystal, you're wrong. What he said was he because he was in Paris ahead of time. Actually, he left. He was there. He said because he wanted to make sure she was killing it. He left and went away. That so that was that statement was before he actually left. You got the order mixed up. No, but, but my point is, he said that he wanted to make sure that she was killing it. That was his point of wanting to lay eyes on her. Um, he did. He, he, there's no way to. to, but, to, but, to but, not, but wait, how did he want to protect her? By making sure that she was looking dope. That's what he said. He said that he wanted to make sure. I don't I, know. We can pull Look, it up. He looked at me. He was like, "Nah." He, he did that like you drink it. Yo, he did. We can it pull up. it up because he he binged in it. He he was and the way he said it, he was so. Honest, like you could tell, he was really serious with Charlemagne. Right. He was like, "I wanted to make sure that she was kid- not." He said the words not in a physical protect sense, but he wanted to look out for her to make sure that he laid eyes because he feels like he's a fashion person. All I'm saying is that you see that, the difference. That's out of order. That's okay. Though. I, I can't Very prove it right now, but that 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 statement you made is out of order. Uh, I'm not saying. Take, yeah. Oh, excuse me. I'm not saying. I'm not saying in out of order the way he's saying. It. He's saying right. that you you're saying. Yeah, that's, that's, right. that's I'm not saying a if he said that, is out of order, that statement is out of order before rather than after. He, yeah, no, he's, but, yeah, but he's I'm saying the statement is out of order because as a black man. Right, you're yeah. supposed to want as a man physically. To that's woman. my point. Protect yeah, I, I, I agree. He said mm-hmm. he went there beforehand, and he, for whatever reason, he wasn't able to. But his my point is, it's not the order. Even it's the idea. Like I said, that there's the idea of physically protecting was not what he was talking about. Well, see, let me. I said as a black man on purpose because we're the only men that don't protect our women. Think yeah. about this: you touch a white woman, they will lynch your ass. Yeah, they come for you. You touch a Chinese woman. They come for you. You touch an Arab woman, they come for you. You touch a black woman, they record it. Like, what yeah. the hell yeah. is that? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. a man recorded that? It don't have to be your woman. Yeah. They, everybody like else the has Waffle a community. House stuff last yeah, week. Yeah, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. I'm yeah. like, we're supposed to be yeah. a community, but we're the only race that is not a community. Like, you know, you know. It's going to be problems if you go to Chinatown and you harass a Chinese woman. The right. cops know. Right. right. If you go to Brooklyn, you go to any one of these places where the Jewish the Jewish people are so organized in Brooklyn. I went to Brooklyn, like my brother still lives there, right? And I'm driving, and I'm like, yo, this looks crazy. This is like, it's like people skating, and it's like <laughs> two in the morning, they're skating. I'm like, where are we? Right. But that's not what caught my eye. It was an ambulance driving, mm-hmm. and it had all... What are they like Israeli letters? I don't know what the oh yeah no a Jewish ambulance. I was like yeah what the hell is this? Different it's a different my ambulance. Brother, they my won't brother come was, for you. Wow. Yeah, my brother was like you don't know they got huh. their own police force yeah. their own yeah. ambulance they have their their own wow they won't come for you though 
You but, could get shot beside a Jewish ambulance. But my point is, everybody <laughs> else wow. organizes and yeah. protects their women, yeah, and, and, families, and, and, their, right. and their families, and their people, and their what well, except us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when I say Kanye is out of that, that sentence is out of order. Mm-hmm. It's not just Kanye saying out right. of order. <clears throat> it's the mindset right. that that's it's not the first thing on your mind. Your wife got robbed, and you be like, "Oh, well, not f- physically. I right. want to be there. Physically, like, what? Right. I want right. to rip the person." Well, apart. yeah, he he wasn't saying that he knew that that was going to happen. He was saying that he just he he hated that he wasn't there, but he had wanted to be there to make sure that she, she was, was dressed. killing it. I got I got to listen back. <laughs> yeah. I got to listen back. That is retarded. Yeah, it, it, it was. That is it was, retarded, like, and it made me feel like I know it's going to be an unpopular statement. Uh-oh. I was just like, he's Stop. not. Yeah, I, don't I'm do it. Because he's been it. getting bashed so was, was much. Was you about to go against no, the code? I don't say that. <laughs> you no, about I wasn't to go about to go against the code. What's the code? Yeah, what is the she code? She know what the code is. What's the code? Because Raheem said it when he was when oh, another yeah, yeah. guest said he was here. Yo, code. we we don't we don't publicly bash. I do. Another <laughs> That's because he's half Afro-American white Afro-American right. It's because he's half white That's why right. I like that code yeah. But sometimes some people Got to be bashed you, I mean, Just for the simple fact that There's got to be Checks and balances In life Right There's got to be Structure and order In life And just because Somebody is black Don't mean what they're saying Is right, right. I'm and not you, one of them people. Yeah, and if you don't check it, I'm not saying in this situation, but it, to me, if you don't, there are other young people listening that may. <laughs> I, I like what Ti did because Ti went. He was he he actually was on with 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 Charlemagne talking about his conversation with Kanye, and he's he's speaking in love to Kanye, but he's also saying, "Yo, it's a problem. Like this is not cool. Like we 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 want you to we we love you, and I see some of the things you're saying, but when you wear a Confederate flag on your arm." That's not about fashion. Like that's 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 not positive. Sending the wrong message. Yeah. So, but no, you know what? Kanye actually did wear the Confederate flag. Like he put yeah. it on. A, and, and t- and t- was it was it Jesus or what? Jesus. And it was like t- tour t- merch. Tim would tell them to take it off. Jesus. He said. Mm-hmm. You, he said. He was like, well, maybe I should take it off. He said, you should take it off. So look, Ooh. tipped. With, so, it, so none yeah. of y'all feel like the wolf and how you know it deals with like getting his paw caught or whatever. I don't know. This, I don't know the analogy. It, where it'll bite yeah. its it'll bite its paw off to escape. Right, but man, since it's time, man. We're not gonna be able to start over until we cut off our paw on some of these niggas. <laughs> Let them go. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta, we gotta bite off that I paw. Get it. it took me a second. <laughs> I, I caught it. You know what I'm saying? Though, like, it, it, I was like the wolf the, biting yeah. his paw. Cold, cold yeah. my ass. Sometimes, you know, it, it's it's become time. It times yeah. up. So it, times up. Are you using that analogy to say that we need to let go of Kanye? No, 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 no. No, no. Kanye no. is See, we is, here. Yeah. Where are you going, man? Now, you don't mess up. He had a good analogy. You don't mess it up. <laughs> we too far to fist bump, yeah. man. But you know that virtual. Yeah, yeah. That's bump. our first yeah. one. <laughs> right. But no. But what I always tell people this um, because I used to always have a smart. I shouldn't say used to. But I have a smart mouth, right? Mm-hmm. And people are like, yo, why you, why you, why you check him like that in front of everybody? And my response has always been, I checked him in front of everybody because what he said was in front of everybody. Right. If he had said the shit private, I would have checked him private. But right. the same forum that you're using to get your point across, mm-hmm. I'm not going to allow you to be here and say some wild shit about me. And then I go here and check it and you apologize and shit. They don't know that you apologized. Right. So since you wanted to be bold enough or whatever enough to say in front of them, you're going to get checked in front of them. Right. You know, and it's as simple as that. That's so true. So if Respect. Kanye is on television or on the radio. At TMZ, which well, is I'm just saying, the biggest. Well, whatever right. the platform is, if right. Kanye's on television and <coughs> he says some crazy shit, I don't have any problem with somebody checking him what he said on right. television because right. it's the same level forum. Right. You know, now if he says something in person and you take it to television, I right. think that's overkill. Like, right. hold up, bro. Right. Hey, right. That's your brother. You're supposed to talk to him in private about that. Right. But if, if, what if he said needs, like you said, there's so many impressionable people that he's touching. Kanye got millions and millions of people mm-hmm. that don't, they can't even differentiate. They can't even make their own thoughts. Right. They, they followers. Right, you know, and mm-hmm. the, fun, the, the the dangerous thing about him is so much of what he says is amazing. Like he is a genius, and he'll say some great <laughs> things. George and then Bush don't care about black people. <laughs> I don't know if he's a genius at speech. I well, mean, some of the things musically- he talks about as far as like never give up and like his 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 ability to see the the excellence in himself when others didn't and to encourage other people to do the same thing is phenomenal. I think what uh, Kanye's like real talent before Cardi B was <laughs> no seriously, seriously, you're, you're going to ex- agree with me in a second, was that he was able to show you the duality of himself 
he knows he has faults and he, he's willing to say them, but he also knows he's greater and has the ability to show you that too. I agree. Cardi is kind of showing that same thing. She'll show you right. how ratchet her life is on this side, but then she's like, but I'm trying to be better or whatever. Right. I think Kanye was that first. Nah, was, <clears throat> I think Kanye Cardi's was better. always I think that. Cardi's a better example because, but this is what I, we was talking about earlier with like the authenticity. Cardi B is as authentic, authentic as you can get. Right. Like, she shows, she bears her soul, if you want to say. She shows it. <clears throat> she knows she ain't highly educated. She knows she's not sophisticated. She knows she's not this. She don't try to do that. She just, she keep her same voice, her same accent or whatever. And she mm-hmm. just be like, yo, shit, this is the first time I ever tried this. It's good as fuck. Mm-hmm. You know, and people look at like, shit, you know, right. that right. seems real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it makes them feel good that, about yeah. it. I got a bag and fix my teeth. Yeah. It's not and, and, wait, she right. didn't, yeah, that's what I'm about to say. <laughs> she didn't just say, I got a bag and fix my teeth. She said, and it ain't cheap. Yeah, no, yeah. That's yeah. the part where you be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, Cardi B, you know, I, we debate about that because I'm a hardcore Lyricist guy, lyrical guy. Like I'm a hip hop. I'm from Brooklyn though, so I'm like, we got a different ear. We have a right. different thing. We yeah, y'all are like, annoying. Yeah, my, my wife's from Brooklyn, but I'm just saying, <laughs> she grew up wait, in the Brooklyn people are annoying, or the, the Brooklyn hip hop people are annoying. Brooklyn people, period, are annoying. The Brooklyn people, period, are annoying. My wife's from Canarsie, so you know she. Oh, uh, I went to school out there. Okay, <laughs> so but what I was saying is, I said Cardi B's album is dope. Like. I was surprised, but Cardi B was like, well, "What do you mean? What do you mean, dope? I'm like, dope. Like, mm-hmm. well, what, what, what would you give it?" I said, "Shit, a four or four point five out of five. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because Cardi B gave you her truth with her album. Yeah, and I can listen to every record on there and like it because it's her. It's not like somebody's like trying to construct the album. Like, I'm gonna do a record for Down South. Right, I'm gonna right, do a record right. for Los Angeles. Right. I'm gonna do. A, she did a out. Everything she says, you believe. Man, I totally disagree on everything you just said. What? Yeah. Everything. Dude, everything name you one said. record that she says and the line from the record that you don't believe. I mean, she didn't write that. Who cares? But, that, but how, how can it be authentic? Her if and it she wasn't actually even her. acknowledged that she didn't write yeah, it. She I, said her I, and the writer. Hold on, are, I don't are agree, Todd. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 let me ask you a question. Okay. If somebody, I agree that I was dope, but no, I don't no, think no, it's no, that no, dope because of that. Because people, they, this is what they don't get. This is what they get. Music has evolved now from. From what we did. Right. Right? So I got in trouble before. Like, I, we used to do a radio show on BLS, right? <clears throat> I'm a staunch lyric guy. I found <coughs> out that Tretch wrote some lyrics for Latifah. I went to radio. I was like, yo, how the hell is this possible? <laughs> Ed is like, yo, the flavor unit is pissed off at you. <laughs> I didn't know that that would make them pissed off, but I was just speaking my reality. Like, yo, right. how is this possible? Because if you're a rapper, you're supposed to rap. You're uh-huh. supposed to write your raps. Right. Right? That was... Should we do a 30th anniversary? So that's 30 years ago. Today, it's the same thing if somebody sit and talk to you and mm-hmm. figure out your personality, they write a script for you. She's reading a script, but it's her script. It's right. her story. It's like you have a, um, a person that co-authors a book with you. The album is her book. The right. person I'm paid to co I'm right. going to get your thoughts. I'm going to convey it in a way that you need to say it, and we're going to get paid. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I have a problem with you if you say, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the right. best, and you can't write shit. Like, you ain't the best shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. that. But if you but she like, doesn't say she's the best. And no, I don't have a problem with her. The album is dope <laughs> as hell. <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> she, she, <laughs> she actually acknowledged it. She acknowledged it. She was like, who cares if I had help writing? Me and the writer are laughing all the way to the bank. Here's the thing, though. Nicki Minaj. Nah, no, Nicki Minaj is, 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 no, is a known fact. The Safari used yeah. to write some of her. Oh, I thought you were saying something else, yeah. I, but Nicki Minaj, if you ask me, I'm like, they say, who's some of the, the dopest lyricist females out there? I would have said Nicki Minaj. It never dawned to me one time she didn't write her stuff. Right. Now She's a better rapper than Cardi. I Nicki agree. Minaj is a better rapper than Cardi. Actually, well, you well, said that, the, the, well, that Cardi's album made you realize how dope Nicki Minaj it did. was. It did. I heard that. Did you say that? I he said, said yeah, that, that yeah. Him. But wait a minute, though. Hold on. How do you know that Nicki Minaj is a better rapper if, if you don't know what she wrote and what she didn't write? Lyrically, the way that she is able to deliver. Cardi, like, I like Cardi, but Cardi also has, like, I don't know if it's a speech impediment. She's or some a type damn, of, what is she? But she's Dominican. Puerto, Puerto Rican. From, she's Dominican from the Bronx. That's not a speech impediment. Yeah, but That's so her is accent. Pun. <laughs> Who? Pun. Tell him He's how Puerto Rican. Wait. Right. Pun could spit. From the Bronx, oh, but he wasn't so Spanish. Being Hispanic <laughs> and don't have nothing to do with whether you can oh, spit or not. Oh, shit. Yo, I'm not going to get this. I've heard, I'm I've heard her speak Spanish, and it actually sounds pretty mm-hmm. normal, but when Even she tries to speak, 
speak English. It's like what? Some people, it's a second language, yeah. dog. You can't get on some rapper because they're second language. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that has Yo, anything to do with How good ability. would you be rapping in French, my brother? <laughs> Come on, man. You can't oh, do that. Shit. I was oh, talking French. Shit. So she's trying to do, like, she's speaking English is, is, is she has an accent. So that doesn't even bother me because, again, that's yeah. her truth. Right. It's not like, who was that? Rosie Perez. Yeah. Rosie Perez would speak like this if right. we were in a private setting. And as soon as she get on the mic, her accent would be as thick as hell. You're like, yo, are you fucking kidding me right now? Look, that's true. Cardi B speaks the same way the 24 time, hours a day. I heard Michael Blackson does the same thing. What do you what? mean? He's he becomes Philly, right? more African. He, he's really, he has a more. I have your. Well, no, but that's his character. That's his yeah, character. That's his character. That's his character. I'm yeah. too comedian. black. Yeah, yeah, that's his character. What I'm saying is, Cardi B is not putting on a facade when the lights are on. Darn it! I wish he would. He's why saying that. the album, dude. I, my, here's my problem. Wait, wait, wait. Before you say what your problem is, <laughs> the first record on her album. That's not the dopest record that you heard all year. No You know what I'm talking about right The one where she's talking 10? about Stripping across the street I was saying stripping Not fucking all that one The one where she stole The Meek Mill formula mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that record right there Do you listen to the Like the whole <laughs> record is built it's, That's my favorite record of the year The year is early man It's early yeah, it's Early mean, but, in the year the Black Panther could be Your favorite movie of the year still It, it wasn't either It wasn't It wasn't either, was, no. guy, yeah, he, right. it yeah. wasn't either. <laughs> <laughs> If y'all didn't see that I had yeah. to get my hotel hey, brother oh, first. That, was, that was a bonus death right, right, like, like, Y'all nobody even said yo, anything yeah, Look. The, other side, the other side of the room Is <laughs> losing nah, this focus I'm not even on that yeah. side Nobody Every week y'all This is the villain inside We got more in over here Right Brother You didn't like the Black Panther movie The disadvantaged side You didn't like <laughs> you didn't like the Black Panther movie? He I, I, just likes to no, be disagreeable. No, Black like, Panther was a good movie, but it wasn't... Come on, it wasn't the... Did you like the Avengers? Off. I didn't see it yet. I'm not a Marvel fan. I'm not a... I, I, I never Black got into Panther comic books. A, doesn't I never got into any of that. But the way that people were making <laughs> Black Panther seem like it was the movie that was going to save us and take no, us no, to no, Black no. Salvation. That's not what I said. But, yeah. yeah, no, no. Yeah. That's what, the movie was, was good. But it just wasn't like mind-blowing like Wakanda really exists and we need to Yeah, start we, I mean, obviously... I just want to say something. Me and my hotel brother, we're going to agree on this. Now, I used to shoot a lot of people down. <laughs> you gave him that before he I'm made like his point. Because he knows, you. he knows what I'm about to say is going to be right and exact, though. It's listen not, to not this. even cool. People, uh. No, no, listen to this. People were putting so much bullshit on the Black Panther like it's going to change our lives. Yeah. No, yeah. it's still a movie like yeah. any other movie. And people were like, oh, well, all of the mo- money that you, you let, gave them white people to do the black movie, you could have built a community. No, we didn't give them anything. <laughs> we purchased a ticket right. to see a movie. That was the intent of that movie wasn't to construct black utopia. Right, right. So why you're putting a, like yeah. when you when you do a kung fu movie, is it to build up Chinatown? <laughs> is it the you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, people just took it way too far. Too far. Way too far. And they hate it for nothing. Like, yeah. yo. You know, I don't know why you're sitting up there talking about it's a black movie. The white man is making the money. See, it's that's, still a all black cast. cast. The if black that's director, not a black yeah. movie, I don't know. I don't what know what is about black writer, black so director. If you, black so if you go to a restaurant that a white person owns, but they got all black staff, soul food. Get out! Well, of here. No, that's no, not no, that. no, 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 no. He's saying black, it wrong. But, no, he's trying to be funny. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Let's have a he was. No, <laughs> if you go to a restaurant that got an all black staff right. and a black head chef, right. and they cook. Or um, soul food It's right. a black restaurant right. It doesn't matter Who, who owns, owns it, it. Right. You, gotta, you gotta be yeah, careful I, and they get, they get, No they get 750 The head nah. chef He tried to <laughs> The <laughs> server The <laughs> servers get 235 an hour Plus tips The maitre d' Gets 795 nah, And the head it. chef Gets nah, $11 an hour Black, 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 black you know, restaurant you know, Right I, I, black cast Not gonna do it And you know what Just cause you said that But just cause you said that I went to a restaurant Here in town I I won't name But Mm-hmm. I saw that there was an all black staff that was there and the management was white. I walked out of the restaurant. What? Well, I'm not doing that. Me either. Was the food bad? <laughs> he didn't know, eat the like, food. Mm-hmm. He yeah. walked out because he saw the management was white. That's crazy. Mm, it was. I saw all they black people. They weren't being forced uh, to work there. I like, saw all <laughs> black people working. Yeah, like they were all like, white <laughs> men. <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm. get in that kitchen. Hell no I forget tip. what was It was something very It was probably somebody Had just got killed The day before or whatever And I was like He gets in his feelings Yeah I can't do it He gets in his Can feelings. I tell you something That made me mad This might not it. be a popular uh, uh, Thought I, I love it whatever. I was pissed <laughs> off These I'm not gonna say Alright Our brothers 
and sisters, mm. they want to march on anything. Right. So they had the thing where they was marching on Houston's. And yes. every day he's out there picking them like a motherfucker, right? Yeah, right. yeah. To the point where they made them close the shit. I'm like, you idiots. <laughs> now they close Houston's. We only got one now. Do you know how good that Houston's Hawaii ribeye is? No, that, I, that, we that, actually... That fucking pork chop? I, I went, don't eat pork. You eat pork, brother. Uh, yes. <laughs> you don't eat pork, do you, hotel? No. He doesn't eat meat. No, 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 no. He don't eat meat. He but eats I'd rather him not eat meat. He's he cardboard. Eat pork. Because cardboard In is good for you. 2018, you eat cardboard? Basically, <laughs> seasoned, seasoned, seasoned cardboard. To him, Jack vegetables fruit. are cardboard. Seasoned. He's jackfruit. Right. It's, That's it's, the funniest <laughs> thing. That made me laugh literally. Yeah. That's where, all right, you got to get that one. That, he, say, he said, as opposed to cardboard, you don't eat cardboard though, right? Of course it's seasoned. Not. It's eat? seasoned. <laughs> No, but no, I was I upset. Agree. I agree. Why it would you make them close the restaurant, yo? Close Houston's it. Now we delicious. got nothing. We got one. Houston is delicious, and and I don't think that this may be unpopular with your people, but with your people, you pointed to him with the whole tap. So, right. yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, I have been. You've been to Houston's a lot. Yes, it's a it's an industry like meetups. So I never had yes. that problem. Like I Ever. never had that problem. Never. So Neither. I'm not saying that it wasn't right, but that could have been that one particular manager or server. I've been going to Houston since I since well, I what, moved what, here. What? Let's revisit um, it. What was the actual problem that made the, us lose our beautiful Houston? <laughs> no, with the with the salmon that I enjoyed. Oh, the salmon, salmon is good, but that salmon. Houston Hawaii oh, ribeye is. It was, it I was. mean, that's it. That was good too. Oh no, save the Houstons. <laughs> <laughs> we still got one. We got the one on Peach Street. Well, Peach, but that wasn't the good. That wasn't yeah, the good one. Yeah, the one by the mall. Yeah, right there. But the, what the problem was, there was a large group of people. Eight people, right? Yeah, and and they were kicked out. But I'm gonna say, no, this. you can't just you you skip. She said it was a large group of people, and they were no. They were, they were trying. No, they were trying to get seated. And they said, we don't have enough space to fit all okay, of you. Okay, that, okay, yeah, yeah. So then they said, I remember that. All right, fuck it. Well, split us up right. and let us have four and let them get four. And they said, right. no, we can't do that right. because you already asked for eight, which was, didn't make any sense. Right, right. silly. Uh, because I tried to ask for eight to accommodate everybody and here. You, you didn't have you it. You can't do it. We still want to eat. Give us four. And right. then there was a big problem. So, right. how you going to just brush past? She said, I forgot they the got kicked thing. out <laughs> <laughs> and they picketed. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the Instagram post. Yeah, Yo, you guys but there are was hilarious. Some, no, but there yeah. was some other. There was another girl, another situation that went there that they said they were kicked out because the tape they were loud. And I'm well, like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. I don't either. Well, like, I, it's I, a fine dining. They probably restaurant. were loud, right? We were it's not Applebee's. <laughs> no, it's, it's much different than Applebee's. That's ridiculous. Don't be loud that, in there, right. right? But we, I had a guy that um. Uh, a prominent guy, he he thought he was anyway. He was a label <laughs> owner, but it was a independent label, and he had just had brain surgery. Wow! So he had to wear a hat. Well, that's not too <laughs> for, that's not too hard for us to figure out who it is. Prominent guy, label owner, brain, <laughs> brain surgery. surgery. Yes. Yeah, Do your homework. He, he had. A, he was wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> he was wearing. It was an. Indi- <laughs> it was an independent <laughs> label though. Uh, look, he's trying, he's trying to backpedal. So look, right. so look, he's wearing a hat. He's like they they won't let you wear a hat in Houston, right? And he's like, I just had brain surgery, and they let him in. They said, No, okay, no, no problem. So I mean, there it's, it's, well, it goes both ways. That up? Like, yeah, you but I'm saying some kind of but, insensitive jerk. <laughs> Show us your scar, right? But the, the <laughs> idea here is that that is yeah. they, they treat black people so differently. I'm saying that sometimes they they do make yeah. concessions. It's it's not every that, single yeah, time. Well, that's not a good example though, because, because he had brain he surgery. A, no, because you said he was a labor earner owner and he was prominent. What about the average? Guy that's going Fuck in there them. It's with Houston. a Yankee hat. I hate you. Fuck the but, average but you guy. Go to Applebee's with your broke you know ass. You gotta always watch him because he'll say a good point, but it'll be some fucked up underlying. <laughs> we gotta you start. catch on well. Yeah, take, you catch on well. Yeah. Take your broke ass to Applebee's and get a two for twenty. Yeah, Applebee's. What's the other one? Ru- Yo. Like the broke dude is <laughs> on the other end of YouTube. Ruby Tuesdays, like. Applebee's, or uh, what's the, it's another one? Chili's. Chili's. Yeah. Yo, listen, I've never Fridays. Eaten in those places, right? Oh, but they have a Ruby Tuesday. Days down the block from me, and I was sitting up there so upset one day. I'm like, out of all the establishments, because it's a really nice looking spot, mm-hmm. and it's a like the area is popping. I'm like, right. why couldn't they put like <laughs> even an Arizona there? You know what I'm saying? Not yeah. Houston, Arizona, or Longhorns, any of the, why they why did they put them there? And it's never packed. Yeah, yeah, it's That's bad. A good point. Huh, before we get out of here, though, I wanted to, we didn't even get into Charles Gambino video, but I saw two very very like they just popped my, me in the face. Mm-hmm. One was, did you notice that both the times he murdered somebody 
what the issues were or what maybe the symbolism was. Did you guys even notice that? Did y'all peep that? That he had the hood in his face? The, well, the first the guy first was, a, was a guitarist playing. Mm-hmm. Like, it was like some pretty music he was playing. Mm-hmm. He shot him and immediately went to trap bounce music. Right. The second, so he kind of like, like killed, gospel, like we've killed right. music. The second one was he killed the, the, church the, the church people, but they were saying, get your money, get your money. That could be two ways. Like, hey, black man, go out there and get your money. That's or we're saying, at a church, yeah. we're going to get your money. And he killed them. He killed church and he killed music. And that's kind of what we've, I took it like, you know what, Done. I think mm. that America and our culture builds things up to kill, like, the, the, the church choir was popping and then I killed that. Like, I took it like he was trying to show that we are just, we build things up to, to, to kill Oh no, the church well, is alive know. and well. They make a lot of money. What are you talking about? But well, I don't part think of what I, I said I they took need to be it, killed. Part of what I took from it was, like, every time he murdered somebody... Then he started dancing. He went right back to it. And one of the little kids came with a come to clean the gun off and, and hide it away like it. Right, but that's that's kind of how um uh, like media. Does. I need to hang out with like, smarter people talk. because I ain't seen none of that shit in the video. All I saw was he was wild and killing people. Like y'all breaking it down to the nucleus. I'm like, I need to watch this again about three more times. Like, hey, I watched it three it. times. Oh, I watched it three I times. Watched, um, I only watched it one time before. We should probably have. But, I don't know if we could do the imagery. Uh, uh, no, I don't want to get kicked off yeah. YouTube. Right. Like, YouTube, you know, kick us off. She said, no, no, no. <laughs> hey, but we in Atlanta. He might, he might okay it. No, right. we're going to I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. But, yeah, like every time, every time someone died, then we went right back to happy, a brand new dance, right? right. And that's kind of... I, I took that as that's what America does. I agree. With How you. we focus in on this murder, right? Yes. Oh, it's, it's terrible. It's popping. It's hot. Commercial break, it's and we right to back talk. to it's shucking what's, and jiving. It's, it's what's right? cool to talk about on social media. It's almost like people love to talk about like the the Houston thing became the popular thing to put on your social media. Mm. I don't even think people really like. I'm like, I don't have no problem with Houston, right. but it's like <laughs> if you were if you were a person, especially if you were uh, in the music industry, yep. you you put up a post about Houston's to support just to be popular. Like it wasn't even about all this. A lot of even even some of the police comes, I think, have not been taken as seriously because they become popular posts that people push to seem like they're cool with everything else. Boy, you cry wolf. Deaths are that way. You know, like you like them wolves, yo. That's the second wolf <laughs> conversation. Oh, man. The wolf poor, the spirit. boy who cry poor. Yeah, it might be a spirit animal. Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. In Chinatown. I need to go to Chinatown and find out, get my shit read. Jesus what do they Christ. read for that for a spirit animal? I like pull my dick out or something. God. How do they? How do they? <laughs> <laughs> Rock, take us out of here. Happy ending. You know they got the happy ending in Chinatown. No, nobody. Sometimes I just. Have really you ever had a happy ending? Were you born in the, in the year of the I, wolf I or something? Ask me was if Maybe I, had I was. Happy ending. Have you ever had a happy ending? Have you ever had a massage? Yes. Did it ever go there? Go there though. Like of course not. Official massage. Of course not. What, 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 so what do y'all get? We don't get that. Y'all don't. You don't I get got anything. A great, I got a funny story. <laughs> Ebony took me to uh, what's the spot that you drive like uh, Chateau Elan? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. She's like, "Yo, I'm gonna get a massage. You want to get a massage?" So I'm like, "Nah, you know, I don't know damn massage." <laughs> She's like, "Yo, just try it, right?" Yeah. So I was like, "Yo, you get naked?" And then she was like, "Well, you can if you want to. You know, right. most I do. Like most people do or whatever. Just try it." So I'm like, "Yo, under no circumstances <laughs> do I want a dude giving me a massage." I'm adamant about this, right? So I'm sitting in there. It's my first time, you know. Right. I mean, I've been to a massage, one of them spas back in the but that was like prostitution back there. But I'm saying, this is a real, you know, you see, it's a, a yeah, fancy nice, establishment. Right? Yeah. So I got the towel on, but I got nothing on underneath, right? Chick come in, she pretty as hell. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so she got me uh, on my stomach. And she starts off like that. She moves the towel off. No big deal. You know, she's rubbing, she's rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. She was like, okay, you know, it's time for you to turn over. I don't know no better. Oh, okay. I turn over. <laughs> she's like, oh, she backs up. She's like, no, you're supposed to let me turn around. You put the towel on and then you tell me it's, you know, it's cool. So I'm like, oh, I'm giggling. I'm giggling my ass. Yo, so, you know, you put a little mask on. Yeah. That only, that's only, she can see me. Right. I'm giggling my ass off. <laughs> so she's like, I don't know what she's feeling, but she's rubbing, she's rubbing, she's rubbing, she's rubbing, she's rubbing. She goes down. She goes by the towel. Boing. Right? She hits it. Right? And she goes back up. And she goes back up. She hits it. And she's like, I don't know what to do with this. Like, because she keeps what? hitting it. I was like, 
Lord. I, I, I'll leave the story there, but it continues. It was the greatest massage ever. And Crystal, you've never gotten a chance to. That was a happy it. ending. That I felt was a better. great ending. I felt better. Yes. Wow. Yeah. It was great. How would a girl even get a happy ending? Wait, come on, Crystal. You could get it. I mean, it's I a couple of ways. What? I'm just saying that that wouldn't come into the massage. Why yes, it can. You could, get a, you could get a happy ending with a massage. <laughs> that is so stupid. <laughs> stupid. No, we're all equal. Oh, wait. We we're all equal. Well, time out. Time, no, no, no. I, you have to get no, a happy I'm ending. I'm on your side. Wait, I'm on your side for the whole day, right? Mm-hmm. Have you really been? No, no, no. I came here and you defected. Because I'm really, I'm, I'm really confused that you would say that, though, because... I know this from personal experience, but do mm-hmm. you know you can get a happy ending just from a finger stimulation, right? Of course. So how can you say how could you get but a I'm happy just saying, ending? I'm, I've never I've gotten massages, you know, several times. I've never been in a situation you go where that would have even been massage a places. That's what like it that is. would have even come. Like, of course, they massage you. They but they're, they're never doing energy. that. It was your energy because yeah. they'll mm-hmm. they'll sense it. Like she ain't with it. But if if they felt like she's with it, oh, look, what would what? you do? What would you do? You get a massage. <laughs> And they tell you to turn over, and she's like, she's rubbing you. She goes down. She's rubbing your thigh, right. whoop, and slipped it. Oh no, no, I would. You would I, jump. I probably would jump. Yeah, because uh, I wouldn't expect that. She messed up the vibe. Yeah, <laughs> See, fact, she messed let, up the vibe. Let me Stuck give you up. a little, little background. So on a previous show, <laughs> like matter of fact, after a party, what would you do? You know what? After I, a party. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of <laughs> wait, this. Wait, wait. I don't. I'm lost. After, okay. after a party, he's trying to make fun of the fact that when I was in college, I never was invited to the after party. <laughs> She went. Hey, she went to her dorm room. After the party, after the party, I love it. After the party, you never got invited to. After- never. She My friends and I know. never got invited. Didn't know. We didn't even know. Like they, they, they didn't even tell us that it was happening. What school did you go to? University of Oklahoma. Bling. Bling. That's Oklahoma. No, I'm not even being funny. Oklahoma. No, 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 though. I got it. But there were other. There, there were other people having a party. My, I'm my, sure. My boyfriend at the time was a Q, and he and his frat bros were having parties with other girls. That's he never why, got invited. Yeah, you know why yeah. you wouldn't invite. It? No, because your boyfriend was, was smashing the people at the damn after party. He didn't want you there cramping the style. Hey, look, my diagnosis. We've made our diagnosis. Now my recommendation is to go get a happy ending <laughs> this week. And go just, to Chateau in line. They're gonna. I don't think they're gonna give me one. They will. You got to change your energy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna tell you. Easy. Bust it open. No, that's what I'm saying. Really. You know what you can. No, you know what you can do Stop. to really let them know you with it. When you turn over, turn over and be like, "I'm telling you, bust them for a real nigga." Mask up, turn over, and have your legs out. Like, yo, what you gonna do with this? They're gonna understand. Yo, that's their job. Yeah, they're not gonna freak out. They're gonna be like, "Yo, you straight?" I I guarantee you, it's not the first time it's happened. Yeah, guarantee. How did we get here? We're How here. Did we get here. So you ready to get your body count up yet or no? Still no? Wait, her still, body count is She won't tell up? us her body count. Oh, still, no, still I, no. You're supposed to keep that secret. No, no you know. Who does that? Tell the world, man. Look, hey, look. Do you want to know? Write us in and let us know if you want to know Crystal's <laughs> body count. I promise that we're going to give the accurate number. We're not going to lie. Said, uh, well, you, you're never going to get an accurate number from a woman. Ever. Yeah, yeah. Ever. Why is that? Just before I, we go. We just, wait, I, wait, 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 wait. Just <laughs> answer that question. Why do women never give an accurate Truthful. Can I be honest? Body. I'm gonna yeah, be honest. That's okay. what we want to know. This is the problem with men. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wait, we, men say, we asked about women. You say the problem with men because we have to lie that's because we know that you guys can't deal with regular things. Like men say they want a chick that's a freak, but then if the girl has actually been a freak, they they really don't want to know that. So we understand that and we cater to the lie. Mm. We just want to make you guys so know. it can be worn out, but you just got to pretend like it's not worn it's not, out. It's never worn out. I mean, what are you saying? It's never then? worn out. So then you could be with a rose is still a rose. Mm. Nah, roses will. Yeah, <laughs> get a little shade, a little shade to no, fuck the rose up. To, you can go to Doctor Curves and get a vaginal rejuvenation. Yeah, one. No, what do you mean? Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. That's not. Stop. I'm so they, sick. You know what? I did a documentary on the different side of the table. Look, I did a documentary with Doc. You have to sit on the different side of the table. You have to sit over here the next time. Look, you not sit over there. You're such he a hater. I thought we had black unity. Look at you. The woman is tearing us apart. Tearing us apart. She's tearing us apart. Yeah. Make no sense. No, but I just want to let you know. I did a documentary on plastic surgery and um the the. The rise in plastic surgery and mm-hmm. how it's acceptable now in the African American community when it right. never was before. Right. Think about this. Back in the days, the only people that were getting plastic surgery were rich white women. Right. Black mm-hmm. people would never get plastic surgery. Right. Right. So how's the dynamic changed in your head to to now think that this is you know cool? Mm-hmm. And then you know we went into we we did the schools, mm-hmm. we did the. Um, a psychologist, mm-hmm. and we did Dr. Curve, and we did a, a couple of our surgeons. Mm-hmm. And um, 
uh, it's amazing. And the, the root of it all is these people are chasing something they're never going to fix because right. they see imp- imperfections in themselves that we don't see. No matter how much, like Michael Jackson, mm-hmm. no matter how many times he had a nose job, his nose could never be perfect to him. Even though you'd be like, yo, dude, your nose is about to fall off. Right. They don't see that. They see the old nose, even the new nose that doesn't work. He doesn't see that. You know what I'm saying? That's not really going to fix what you think is going to fix. the reju- it, is, it can't rejuvenate. Yes, it can. Nah. You're Dr. Cutting Curves. It. No, it's not cutting. It, he, 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 Dr. Oh, she's, Curves. She's giving it. She right. takes you, you it. Research the brochure. I did. I went from the brochure. <laughs> I interviewed yeah. him. I'm so yeah. sick. Yo, did you hear him? Wait, you need to do one I'm of those so things. I'm so sick of Yo, him right he now. said, oh, this is from the brochure. <laughs> you know a lot about this. Go ahead. You know what I, you know what I visualize when I think of that vaginal thing that, what? you know, they say like the vaginal mesh or whatever. Yes. I visualize when you go down, like you're on a Tennessee, mm-hmm. and you know how those, those rock cliffs are very steep, so they got that, that wire, that metal wire holding <laughs> the rocks up. Right. I see that as the pussy walls being held up and back uh... with some... And that's what a va- like. Just that's let the not, shit let, all, let that shit just totally flop over things. into the middle, that's like it, totally like it wants to. Things. No, that's no? two totally different. It ain't things. like we're just hang this almost hang out, a- prolapse <laughs> out, like it just <laughs> the same gate they use to stop a rock slide. That is ridiculous. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. It's just ignorant. It is. And you know what? Ignorant. You know what? That's Black so man, bad. let me ask you a question. Oh god. When Kanye said he got lipo, what was your reaction? I would never listen. I don't want to. Turn this into a Kanye bashing session, but again, I did that, uh, that documentary. Yeah. Plastic yeah. surgery. I would that's never I do any type of plastic surgery alterations to myself, especially that because that's something that you can handle and take care of yourself mm. in a safer, better right. way. Like, but I, there are. But I was going. I was going to ask you this, and I know we've gone over long, but you know, with celebrities, there's a different level of expectation, so people know bullshit. that we. I don't. I don't agree with that. <laughs> I don't agree with that at all because I'm saying again, like they chasing a beauty that you might have been beauty. You might have been. You might have had that beautiful look at 25. Mm-hmm. But black women are supposed to age gracefully. Right. At 35, you look a little bit more sophisticated, older. 45. 50. If you look at the women that have never altered themselves, mm-hmm. they are beautiful in mm-hmm. their 60s and 70s. They look amazing. Yeah. You look at these white women alter themselves. They look like Crazy. they're 90, 100, and yeah. dead because yeah. you're not supposed to really do that stuff. Right. It's like, okay, what are you really altering? Because the white women used to alter themselves to look more like the black women. All of the things that they insult you for, they get the broader nose, they get the bigger lips, they get the bigger ass, they get the bigger breast, mm-hmm. they get um, the tiny waist, right? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Right. Why are you doing it? This is what you are naturally equipped right. with. Now, well, but, see, that's, but that's a lie. But that's a lie. Every black woman don't have that, and that's the problem. Work for it, though. You can't work for a tiny Honestly, waist. There's a picture that, that that's when you guys the picture. I'm not going to say the, the ladies. Uh, you work. can't work your breast bigger. You can't work, and the the way that the bodies are just are are created now, it just doesn't look realistic. So if you are your waist is 19 inches. Leading to a forty inch hip. That's yeah. It just doesn't make sense. And it's gonna break down later. Your body can't yeah. withstand that. Yeah. And a lot I of the girls are gonna show us the I, I She gave I up quick. I did. Do you want? Do you want to break it down them. for her though? What? That nineteen to forty. Do y'all want to break that down for him? Or you? No, I'm saying. Come on with it. She saying. He saying they'll break down eventually. I'm saying. <laughs> Do y'all want to help? No, you did this say guy. that spoil after a certain period. It, oh yeah, is well, that what cer- you? Certain women do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't. That's true. That's not. A, that's not my opinion. Yeah, it is your opinion. No, you know that's true. That's stop. Yeah, it. but I don't this know time it. that's an opinion I'm willing to agree with. You because you've been paying attention recently. Yeah. You've noticed, right? Yeah. It's true, man. No more stuff. But I like that shirt. I like you. You guys have the best shirt game. That's for our, that was for our other show. Yeah. You guys have the best shirt game. So are you selling these shirts? Like, yeah. yeah you, these these are available online. Yeah, you can. You should t- like you they can, got the you can cop. Yo, like <laughs> no you more got starving the artists. Best yeah. shirt game that I've seen in a long time. Like like both of them. Where's your shirt? I don't. I I'm, I don't. But you okay. don't promote. Let me ask you about this. What do you think about that? Who is that? That looks ridiculous from over here. Yeah, it looks crazy. That looks just, just terrible. Who is that? I don't want to say. Black who China. Is. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. That looks- that's ridiculous. But that's that's what the that's what that that's that looks photoshopped too. Though. That don't look like it could be real. Like, but I, but but that's how the bodies are created, though. Maybe. I'm not a fan. But, but we know she's been surgically altered, though. Yeah, yeah. She said 
Yeah, yeah. they said, but now they're, they're getting the thigh gap. Did you yeah, guys know I just, that? I'm, I'm the, not Yeah, because if, if you gap. look, that's, that's, it looks like balls dangling. <laughs> it's really what, but that's actually her ass Coming hanging forward. that you see from the front. Uh, yeah. So she got ass balls? Dude, look, hold on, hold on. Tell me that. Tell me that don't look like oh, balls that's right. thing. Ugh. Yeah, it looks like... I don't... Got... That's not what's up. Wow, that is awful. This is awful, Black China. That is not... That's not awful. That is awful. <laughs> right, hold on. This hold on. page has extra amount You guys need to end this now on. because yeah. now you all guys are... Um, we have went against go, the code. You're going against the code. Against you're the code. I just said the name and we, then yeah. they just screech He out said the name, name. yeah. And yeah. that's not the real thing. All Black China's fans are going like... Y'all Harass me Love yourselves minute. That's what the message Of I'm today sorry. is no, Love yourself well, you can't Cause women Cause men don't love it If it's not 100% I do That's not I true. love 100% I love it I love it when you're natural That's Trust me true. If you love yourself We'll figure it out Yeah yeah. That's a good quote. We will. Like, we'll figure like, it out. Oh, yeah. Kev. Like, I, Kev I'm Tep. Sick of That's this. A dope one. That's this. A dope. this fi- listeners, if you guys are listening, this this has been like the 40th fist bump over here. Yeah, I'm sick on of this it. side of the table. Like it is a little happening. It's a little point. annoying, but it's disgusting. But, but, why are you yo, so offended? <laughs> right. Why, why does my unity offend you? <laughs> <laughs> this, this black man has done nothing to trespass against me. Yeah, transgress. I open him with open arms. He said trespass. I'm a transgress. He's trying. He's learning. He's, he's still like <laughs> he's, he's a he's white a belt in the hotel. He's in a tea party. <laughs> he's stupid. He's a he's white, belt white belt with a yellow stripe. He got a yellow stripe on his white belt hotel. He's <laughs> trying to get that green Thank belt. You guys for tuning he didn't in. Call me a yellow belt hotel. He got a yellow stripe though. White belt with a yellow stripe. Oh man, Yo. you got two more stripes before you can even think about going to go into the yellow. <laughs> Your form is still bad. Be brown. Mm. Oinch. Nah, not yet. Oinch. You got some form issues. We're gonna work on those form. Those form <laughs> right. issues. Well, thank you guys Lord for having me. Yo, this was, thank you this was amazing. Coming. Like, you guys, the energy with, with you all, the different dynamics, is, 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 is good. You guys are popping. And I appreciate the, it, man. The shirt game is right. I got to I gotta you come gotta, better next week. You. I, you, yeah. know, I, 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 you know, I mean, you're part of the... I know, I got to get it up. I do have a shirt from But my she doesn't own. like you us, have, actually. You have, you have can we be... Can, hold on, Kevin. Can, no, we, no, we, can we be always honest? She doesn't really like us. No, you know what I mean? She tolerates us. No, it's not that. She's Beyonce. She wants to do her own thing, and you oh. guys are uniform. She stands out. <laughs> if she doesn't wear a shirt, and you guys are wearing shirts, so she should she be topless. I, we said the I same didn't say thing. She should be topless. <laughs> you, we have we have discussed I this. Already. That was, your views that was, might go up. Exactly. Though. Your views will go up. <laughs> hey, listen. See, yeah, sometimes I mean, you got to take one for the team. Show I told them. I cannot. I told them that there's a certain window on on showing titties. Nope, right? there's no window. Show no, your titties. No, 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 hell no. Not no saggy ass titties. So you saying she got saggy titties? No, no I don't but have she said titties. there's a window. I don't have sa- like I don't when have you get to titties. a point, it's no, you don't want to see them. The yeah, it's a certain no age. You yeah, but to see the titties when they're up and firm and nice. You don't we're not. See no titties. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about our viewers wanting to see crystals. Right, but she was saying that there's a. Like, but why I, would you mention that window? Because exactly. it doesn't I'm, apply to you. No, but I'm just saying at a certain age, you just don't show your tits. Like you just. You so know, it's not this age. The viewers it is. inquiring my Oh, you you're past touch. that yeah, I'm not flashing. Yeah, I'm not doing you know, that. oh, I'm taking okay. a shot. Ooh, what is that called? So that was her excuse for not called? doing it. She a said we, we should have asked her <laughs> ten years ago or whatever. No, I didn't say that. I would just no, I would she never just show said, my You should have caught me ten years ago, but I would never what if we CGI on. your face? That's what I was no. What if you CGI the blur well listen, what if you wear And we blur it, right? Yeah, what if you wear like a a tank top? Top, really? No, listen. Wear a tank top, right? And let them blur it and the fans. I think you have no. Let, no, let, next week. That's actually next cool. week. Crystal's topless, you y'all. Shirt. We're gonna blur it out, kind Show of. Show your tits. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, in the meantime, know, no, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't say that because uh, the Washington Redskins are under a little bit of heat for oh, doing man, who some. Cares? Look, yeah, so we'll, <laughs> like, like that's share. next week. Oh, like, you the cheerleaders. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm topical. I'm mm-hmm. not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you guys go to the website, musicallovelifeshow.com or rarsonics.com where you can check out all of our shows. And Kevin is going to get his, what belt is it next? <laughs> Yellow we, belt. Black. We working on, no, there's no way you got a black My belt, bro. My whole key is black. Not gonna be black. He's going to be in full gi next week. Chris is going to be topless. I don't, Ty, I don't know where Ty one is going to be. He's probably going to be doing something funny too. So Yeah, we're going to be chilling. 
Oh, but we are doing the Yo MTV Raps 30th anniversary reunion show at Barclays on June 1st. That's dope. And it's going to be a bunch of motherfuckers there. Big Daddy Kane is performing. Eric B. and Rakim is performing. Eminem is going to be there. He's not performing. He's going to be there. Um, can, we say the big, can we say that Big Daddy Kane still looks good? I just want to say that. I don't want to say that. He, he I, does, I doesn't he? Yeah, I think, but I wouldn't say that. I think, no, no, that's I, not something that I would say in a conversation. He's taking care of himself. That's he's taking care of himself. I wouldn't even say that in a conversation. Why? Yo, you know Big Daddy Kane look like he's taking care of himself. That's, oh, that's good. Well, right. I, I, for me, as it a woman. It sounds good for you. Yes, yes as a right. woman who had a crush on him. His fan base Yes, because he was very sexy, and the sexy is still there, so I just wanted to say that. So, who, okay, I have a, one quick question. Back in the day, was it LL Cool J or Big Daddy Kane? I mean, that's not really fair. LL Cool J really, I mean, he did so much to like supersede that, but they were both sexy. <laughs> okay, yeah. all right. Well, like, share, subscribe. Did you did you give them details on how they can can they watch it? or They have to go to Barclays. No, it's going to be live streamed. Um, it's going to be live streamed live, and it's going to. I mean, obviously, you got to be in Brooklyn to go to Barclays, but the tickets are on sale now. But it's like a whole bunch of people mm-hmm. like. People that you want, it's, it's a different, all kind of different vibes. Like you got um, Brad Nubian, you got Black oh, Sheep, no. you got oh, wow. Slick wow. Rick, yeah. you got MC Light, you got Yo Yo, you got Eric B and Rakim, you got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's, gonna it's be dope. touching dope. a whole bunch of different things. Yeah, we're gonna just, you know, um, rock out for that for that night, and it's, it's dope for me because I'm the only one from the crew that's from Brooklyn. So. You get, to, ha- you get to host it right. you get to in host Brooklyn, it. Home, yeah. like they from advantage. Queens and Long Island. <laughs> oh, and you know what? I, well, <sighs> should I? I, 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 saw the, I saw the light bulb. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I don't. I don't. But Dr. Dre, what about him? Is there like a tribute? I assume uh, he's alive. No, from the show, <laughs> from oh. Young TV raps. That Dr. Dre, big Dr. Dre, he's right. alive. I thought he was gone. No, brother, he's Damn. gone. He's one of the whole. Wait, no, Damn. Was, I'm glad we God, cleared I thought that he was up. Gone. That's I'm awkward. glad we cleared that up. No, Dr. Dre Yo, is alive. They, wasn't there a rumor or something like no, that? No, I never heard. Well, it. they say Big Daddy Kane had AIDS in '92, also. So, no, yeah, Dr. Dre, he's one of the hosts. <laughs> Doctor, I said Dr. That Dre, is Ed Lover, T Money, and Fab Five Freddy are all hosted. That was awkward. Awkward. Yeah, I was confused. I was like, no, I'm about to clear it up because I was like, I was under the impression that he had had passed. No. He's alive. All righty then. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you didn't get any information out of this show, you got that. Talk to right. you still alive. Thanks, y'all. See you next week. Music Club Life.